the first thing we're going to do is get under the hood place the lash right here to keep the hood up the car battery is located right here the brand of this battery is Duralast Go Edition. The part number of the battery is 35-DLG. Safety always come first. And get yourself some safety glasses. And next, get yourself some gloves. I like these gloves because they go all over to your wrist, just like this. And it's more sturdier than the latex glove. And I also put on the second one. And as you can see, they fit nice and snug. And the first thing I'm going to do is wipe the top of the battery so it's nice and clean. Make sure to wipe down any dirt or debris from the top of the battery. We don't want any foreign object to enter the battery cell when it's time to open the battery port. If you prefer, you could remove the whole battery out from the car to do the maintenance and reinstall it after everything is done. But do note that this will reset some or all the electronic in the car. With a flathead screwdriver, I'm going to gently pry these rectangular plastic cover to get access to the battery port. And there's a second one over here. And you can see there's more dirt under these two cover. Here, you can see my battery have six port. And I'm going to continue wiping this down carefully not to let anything fall into the port. On a side note, some battery have six individual round cover instead. You could take them off by turning them counterclockwise and pulling them off. Some battery is maintenance free so you cannot open them and add water. They are just simply replaced when they start working well. Here is a drawing that will represent a car battery. This is the car battery terminal. And this is the plastic cover that I just have taken off. And this is the vent wall. It's the hole where you could peek into the battery. And these are metal plate that charge the fluid inside the battery. The max level of fluid in the battery should come up to right here. It should be just right at the bottom of the plastic vent wall. The minimum level for the fluid should be right above the plate. On the side note, if the battery is weak or dead, only fill it up to the minimum. Because when a dead battery is charged, the electrolyte will rise. And you will need this space for the level to rise when the battery is charging. Now it's time to check each cell for the fluid level. Some battery, they come with a water level indicator. So when you peek inside the hole, you see green for max level, yellow for mid, and red for low. And as you can see, this battery does not have it. Use only distilled water to fill up the cell. Any other kind of water like tap water, well water, and filter water can introduce mineral or chemical into the battery and it could decrease the battery life. The first method I'm going to show you is simply pouring into the hole. And as you can see, it's getting all over the place and it's just one big mess. The better method is using something like a turkey baser like this. You will have better accuracy and better flow control. Here you can see the jug of water. I'm gonna pull some water into the turkey baser. This amount of water is good enough. And let's proceed to putting this water into the battery. 
you can see here how much control I have over the water and everything is getting to the port. If you so happen to put too much water into the port, just take the same turkey baster and pull out the extra water. You will need to repeat this process to the other five port and you're good to go. Once our six cell is filled, go ahead and wipe down the top of the battery. And now we're looking through each of the port and you can see they're just touching the bottom of the filler tube. And you just simply plug the cap right back on. Don't forget the other one too. And I'm just gonna give it a love tap to make sure everything is nice and snug. And we're pretty much done with the maintenance. And it's time to take off the gloves. The only bad things about this glove is it's very hard to take it off. Finally. And here we go again. And this one is a lot easier. And now we just close the hood and be done with the maintenance. And do make sure you wash your hand. You might not know, maybe some battery acid might have splashed on you. Click the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe for future updates. And again, thanks for watching.